Hello folks, we're back with another type challenge. This time we're doing read only. Read only, the idea here is that we want to kind of copy the read only utility that TypeScript ships with. And what that does is it has basically just makes the top level properties of an object, makes them all read only so you can't mutate them. So we don't need to worry about recursively going deeper. We don't need to go inside this meta thing or anything. We just need to turn these title description completed meta into this, basically, which is good. So um, the way we're going to start then is if you think about this, we're basically recreating an object. That's our idea here. We've got this to do one, which is an object, and then we need to create a new object with slightly modified properties. The way I think about that is whenever I think about creating a new object, I always think about remapping. So like it, we're talking about a mapped type here. So I'm going to add T input onto this. And whenever you've got a map type, you want to create a new object here. And we're going to go key in key of T inputs. We're going to say T input key. Okay, whoa, that was a lot of code straight away. So I'm going to go type result equals my read only and to do. Yeah, to do one. There we go. So what we're doing here is we're creating a new object. That's what these curly braces are for. Then inside there, we're declaring the index signature. Now, the index signature for this is going to be the same index signature, like the same indexes, title, description, uh, completed meta, as this. So we use key of t input. We're not changing any of the stuff there. So we've got this result here. And that result is going to be, it currently looks exactly the same as we had before. That's because we're iterating over each key. And for each key, we're accessing t input with that key. So this is a property access here. I could change this just so it's like blah. And what we get is just blah in all of the slots there. Whereas here, we actually want to access t input by the key. We don't want to change the value or anything. We just want to sort of grab it there. I could even say like uh, or number, for instance, just so to add it onto the union of all of those things there. So that's what that's doing. So, but we've not quite got there, right? Because we've not added this read-only property onto each of these keys. So the way we do that, like you can't do it here, unfortunately, because you can only apply a read-only type modifier to a, an array or a tuple. So the way you do it is you actually put it before the index. And that gives you, if we look here, it gives you read-only title, read-only description, read-only completed. It doesn't go one level deep, which is interesting. So that actually passes our cases, which is great. Um, and I think then we're pretty much good. Like one other thing, cool thing about this syntax is if I wanted to remove read only, I could actually like imagine title is read only here. I can actually do a little minus in front of it. And what that does is actually removes read only from it. So if I didn't have read only, then this would still be read only title. there. So I can actually do plus read only, which is kind of cute. Um, like you can use both syntaxes. So if it wasn't read only, it is read only now, which is kind of an alias to this actually. So maybe this is more clean. Um, yeah, if we wanted to go one level deeper, then we could, we could say like, um, we could do a check here. We could say if it extends object, then we could go uh, my read only t input key, otherwise t input uh, key. Let's see, yeah, we got that right. So this now recursively calls itself, which is something you can do with types. And so it actually wraps um, my read only uh, around t input key. In other words, what we end up with is read only meta. Yeah, there we go. There it is. My read only just there. And if it's not an object, then we just return the thing anyway, which is pretty cool. So if I had like an extra thing here, like wow, which is a tuple, then I don't think that's going to get wrapped in read only. Ha! Huh. Oh, it is. Oh, objects, of course. So arrays are technically objects. Ha! Huh. Well, that's pretty cool. But that's not what we wanted to achieve, right? So if I just sort of clean this up here, we can just say remove all of this gunk and the conditional check there. And we just end up with t input key and we're looking pretty good. Okay, so that's read only. Uh, this is, this, I've been really enjoying this so far, actually. Uh, if you want to see the next one, I'm not sure what crazy thing uh, TypeScript Challenge is going to come up, come up for next. But if you're enjoying it, then do subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.